With the VH Style Beetle, we are driving an Audi GetTrack transaxle. Now the Audi transaxle has got a much smaller bell housing and smaller volume within to seat the clutch, the pressure plate and the flywheel. So what happens is we have a large diameter over there on the flywheel and we have a much smaller diameter on the clutch. Now because we've got a much smaller diameter and because this engine produces a lot of torque, we need to get that torque through the clutch and onto the drivetrain. And we achieve that by putting a double clutch or twin clutch scenario into the car. The advantage of a smaller clutch is that we have a much less inertia when on pull away when we're trying to rev the engine. The inertia is to our advantage. There's less of an inertia. And because we're using a double clutch, we've got a much higher torque threshold. And this together can cope with the torque that we put through here. So the first step is to fit this assembly to the engine and to make life a little bit easier, but it's also a necessity. You've got a dull pin that gets fitted to the crank. So we've put the, the six bolts into the crank, um, ARP bolts. So to torque it up, you need to lock the flywheel, which Pierre is helping us with. So the first one I'm actually gonna do is to make sure all my bolts are seated, and then I'll use a torque wrench after that. So we first feed that through there. Then we are gonna need one of these guys in between, like that. And then we're gonna need the last one, which is there. And all this is gonna have to sit there. So we've got our clutch plates pad, opposite pad. And then we are lined up with the bolt. So then we bring the pressure plate. And if I had five arms, this would be a lot easier. And then we go all the way there. So the bolt that Pierre's about to put in goes through the pressure plate, misses the intermediate plate, and goes into the flywheel. So we're just gonna position her for now. We're not gonna torque it up or anything. Here we go. You will see the diaphragm fingers starting to move as you tighten it, which is these guys. And you want, to, you want all of them to work together. That's why you would crisscross when you do your fi final tightening. So here you do really need to have a feel for the torque that you are adding. There you can see the diaphragm fingers move as I tighten it. Okay, the next thing that we'll be doing is adding an adapter plate. So the adapter plate is designed that on the one side, we are bolting to the configuration of the LS motor. On the opposite side, this side, we, had, we have got the bolt pattern of the Audi box. So let's move this into place. We've got some dowel pins that help us guide all this, this on. There we go, that was easy enough. It's all the way there. Jean has done quite a bit more work on the engine, including adding the water manifold cover. Back to you, Jean. On the V8 Stealth Beetle, we use a Getra gearbox, the same one that you're seeing here. The standard gear track or Audi box is built for a completely different universal. So with this guy, we can then fit our um, 
CV joints onto this adapter and then onto the drive shafts. Um, onto your adapter plate is a guide for your two push-pull cables. And then over here, you're gonna need a clutch slave cylinder. This is the clutch slave cylinder already fitted. When fitting the starter motor, you need two M10 bolts that go straight through into the block. It's a standard LS3 starter motor. So another thing that you could do is to fill your gearbox with gearbox oil. And you'll see that over here, there's a plug that can be removed. You can fill the box to that level and close up again. And please don't forget it um, because it's a quick way of destroying a gearbox is when there's no oil in it. Then the other thing you can do is fill the engine with oil and, and, and a very important part of filling the engine with oil, you can remove this plug over here um, and prime the mechanical oil pump. And you just have to put a liter or two in, it's enough, close up, and then you can fill the rest of the oil from the top. But that's the right way of doing it, is prime your oil pump. So at this point, I'm gonna move the engine out of the way and we're gonna bring one of the current chassis bolts. We're gonna bring that chassis in and then we can show you the fitting of the engine and gearbox.